I've been working on how energy relates to human systems for 15 years. This video series is a condensing of 45 hours of energy economy content from my class Reality 101 into under two hours. It's effectively what I believe every citizen, or in this case student, should know about energy. Our culture has a variety of perceptions and misconceptions about energy. We have this vague feeling that oil is somehow important. We have a cultural belief that money makes the world go round and with enough money we can buy the energy and materials we'll need. We have a belief if we run out of oil and gas, we'll just replace them with solar and wind or some other new technology. We have a cultural belief that ingenuity and technology will overcome any future resource limitations. What these beliefs and stories share is a misunderstanding of energy. Everything in the human economy we do make or experience requires energy. Our culture is currently energy blind. That has a large implications for our futures. Do you ever think much about energy? Do you have any thoughts on how the future of energy will impact your life? If you're like most people, you do think about energy, but only when you have to pay a utility bill or fill up your car with gasoline. But the reality is, is that every single aspect of our modern industrial systems, our medicines, our cosmetics, our food, our transportation, our vacations, our political leaders, everything requires an energy input and the cost and availability and impacts of that energy have big implications for our future. Here's a little bit of a teaser. This fine model here is me. I do the work of about one-tenth of a horse. I'm standing next to Inga, my draft horse, who does the work of one horse, if I could get her to work. That little green vehicle is my Yamaha Rhino, which does the work of 45 horses. And the other green vehicle is my truck with a little bit of diesel fuel it can do the work of 150 horses. All of this from a little bit of oil input. So with this series, I have numerous objectives, but my main objective is to help make the invisible visible. So you as 18 year olds can see how energy impacts everything and then make better decisions in your life, in your careers, and maybe to help our situation as a culture.